Hey everyone, today on Feathers Off-Road I want to talk about the charger that comes with this electric dirt bike. The charger is a pretty heavy piece of metal. It's basically a gigantic heat sink with a fan built onto the side. On the left hand side there's an input, a fuse, and an indicator giving you less than 80%, greater than 80%, and 100. I assume this means it's some kind of a three or four stage charger where it's kind of a bulk, you know, a trickle and then a maintain, but none of that's labeled. On the other side, we have a signal, which isn't hooked to anything, and an output, which is hooked, and I'll show that in a little more detail in just a second, but you can get a good look at the heat sink here. I mean, these are one inch, 25 millimeter tall fins, and this is just a big hunk of metal. It's basically just a gigantic heat sink. The cable on the left for the input voltage was a standard US outlet. The cable on the right, I'm not familiar with, and it looks like it's about to start a house fire. I'm not sure what was going on when they decided to use this connector, but basically looks like they hacked this. A little bit of electrical tape. You know, this, uh, I haven't pulled this apart yet. I'm fully planning on replacing this whole thing, but I, I actually charged this outside the first time because I was expecting it to kind of start on fire. We do have six pins, they're numbered. I'll show the bike side in a moment, but from my other video, I've shown before that only two of these pins are connected. And there is a screw collar to keep this from backing off the bike, keep somebody from tripping over it. But let's look a little closer at this label. The label looks pretty good at a glance. Um, on the left-hand side, if we check out some of these voltages, we have a 90 through 265 volts. In the US, that's gonna be 120 volts by 11 amps giving us 1260 watts at full charge. On the output side, that's 84 volts by 15 amps. Math checks out. Keep in mind, this is like plugging in a little space heater. The middle column has a number of poorly translated typos. I'm just not sure why this heat sink is so big if it's 93% efficient. On the bike side, here are the six pins. You can look at another video where I've shown that only two of these are connected. I'm seriously considering just changing this out to something else that's kind of waterproof and maybe tucking it up inside. Charger is now plugged in but not connected to the bike. It does some kind of self warm up cycle and when it flips screen and there's no voltage the fan will turn off and it'll just hang out here until you actually connect it to something. So it seems to function kind of as the label says. If I connect this up to the bike, the bike isn't fully dead right now. I'll screw this collar on. You'll hear the fan kick on. And if we go back down to the indicator, this shows I'm less than 80%, which I don't fully believe. I hadn't actually ridden it very much, but you know, it does turn off at 100%, so there's probably some kind of logic built into this charge controller. The fan is just a constant speed. It never goes up or down. It'll just sit like this. So the lower voltmeter is showing 77.6 right now. If we go up to the top, there is a voltmeter, which I've mentioned up here before, between eight and 16 volts. I've only ever seen this in the middle. So I literally just don't think the top one does anything. So 77.6 is what we have here. After a couple minutes, I'm up to 78.2. And, uh, you know, this will top out around 83, I think 83.2, 83.3 when it's fully charged. Voltage, unfortunately, isn't a great indicator of how charged a lithium battery is, so take that for what it's worth. But this is the charger. And that's a quick look at what comes with this bike from the factory. So until I change that plug, I'll do another video. But until next time, enjoy the ride.